What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Elite Series 58, Sheamus and Cesaro, The Bar. Before we get into the review, guys, if you would like to pick these figures up, you can get them at WrestlingFigures.com, Ringside Collectibles. Use my promo code MDTOYS, you will save yourself 10%. But with that squared away, guys, let's get into this review. Getting straight into it, guys, as you see, we have the bar right here in their packaging viewing window here. As you can see, they're already wearing the accessories that they come with, their little entrance tuxedo gear there. I believe this is supposed to be from WrestleMania 33. As we spin around the boxes here, um, looking very nice. You got a picture of Sheamus, Cesaro, some Rita, if you'd like to pause that now. Rest of the figures in the wave. But I am very happy to get these things, guys. I feel like uh, we have needed a better-looking Sheamus. This may be the sh best Sheamus that they have ever given us. Very exciting. Um, I'm always glad to have a new Cesaro. I have, like, every Cesaro figure, so that is always nice to see. Like Cesaro in the ring a ton. So I cannot wait to crack these guys open. So let's go ahead and do that. We are the bar! And here we have the bar out of the packaging, looking absolutely fantastic. I love both of these figures at first glance without taking a closer look just yet. I think Sheamus takes the cake right now before we get into the full in-depth review just because um, there's a few things about Cesaro that I want to talk about that I'm not a big fan of. But uh, both of these figures are fantastic at first glance. What I'm going to do first is show you their accessories because they're pretty much just the same. Then we'll cover Sheamus' figure and then get into Cesaro's figure. Alright guys, getting into their accessories, they're pretty freaking trash if you want me to be honest with you. Here we have Sheamus and here we have Cesaro. Um, as you see, it is this rubber tuxedo shirt that you know they rip off or they did at WrestleMania 33. Um, they cut the armpits out right here and they did that so you could get better articulation but it does not help. Um, when you try to move the arm up, this is so strong of rubber that it just puts it back in place and the joint is not strong enough. So um, these are pretty much awful. They also have like a million buckles on the back. So I am not a fan of either of these things. I like the paint apps on them, but that's about it. I'm never going to use these. I may cut the sleeves off and do something weird with them or something. I don't know, but these are definitely uh, useless in my opinion. So here right here, I think that these could actually be used because I think that um, these actually work well. As you see, it's like an unfolded kilt here, and um, it does buckle right here as you see. I wish they would have put some paint detail on these, but it is all good, I guess. They wrap around the figure. You can, uh, you know, equip it there, and I actually like these. These are the same mold, and um, I think it doesn't really matter. You can switch swatch them or whatever you want to do, and I think they'll still fit either guy you're trying to put them on. But I like these because, you know, they don't hinder articulation or anything. If you just want them standing there in their kilts, you can do that. But, yeah, the accessories they included with these are not very good at all, and I do not um, appreciate them. However, I wish they would have just given us Raw Tag Team Championships and then not given us one with Matt Hardy. That way we could have a pair in this set. All right, guys, getting into Sheamus. Here is a brand new head scan, if I'm not mistaken. You can assault me in the comment section below if you would like to, but I don't check that sh So I don't know if this is supposed to be a new head scan or not. I believe it is. I could be wrong, but um, I do enjoy this uh, head scan. I think it does capture the likeness of Sheamus very, very much. I am digging it. Same body mold we have gotten for Sheamus in the past, looking very nice. You know, his pale white skin. I like the arm choice. Sheamus is pretty jacked. I like the logos going on. I am digging the trunks right here. I love these. The red, black, and white looking very clean. Got his cross on the back. Not very much to Sheamus' attire, but it does look nice. And what in the freaking poo and pee is that right there? Right there. Look at that little mark. Come on, quality control. Oh, man, that is just disappointing. I don't know if I'll be able to get that off, but we will, uh, we will attempt to get that off. That is unfortunate. But going down in the knee pads, they do match the attire there. God, that mark is annoying. Ah! It's all good. You know what? I'll, I'll fix it somehow. I, I can do it. I can do it. Going down, we do have our standard Sheamus boots. So it is a great overall representation of Sheamus in elite figure form. I do enjoy the figure. So now let's get into some comparisons with this Sheamus. So here we have a shot of the brand new Elite 58 Sheamus up next to my fix-up old AF Elite Sheamus. And uh, I really like these figures. You know, Sheamus has always done well with his figures. Uh, I did replace this head. This is an older Sheamus Elite, but I think the head swap looks fantastic, and these figures up next to each other, it's really cool, because you know you could rock one or the other, do a head swap, you could do all kinds of stuff with this Sheamus. Here we have the new Sheamus up next to my Fix Up Elite Cesaro that I've been using for quite a while now. 
And here we have him up next to Trash Corbin that I got from FigSkib underscore customs. You know what I just noticed, guys? This is an older head scan, and all they did was paint over the nose ring. Look at that right there. They painted over it with red. Come on now. <coughs> oh, man, look at that. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I could be mistaken. That is definitely it. Look at that. They just painted over the silver with red and thought I wouldn't notice it. Well, I did notice it. Like, from far away, you can't even tell for real. But upon further investigation, they did not give us a new head scan, I guess. So, yeah, still a great figure, though. So getting into the Cesaro right here, guys, this is the same head scan that we got with the Elite 47.5, if I'm not mistaken. If it wasn't that, it was one of the basic series. Now that I'm looking at it, it may be, like, slightly different um, than this one. I believe it is. Yeah, it's repainted. Um, I like both of them. I think both of them are great. I like this one a tad bit more, but um, this one's still a great head scan. I believe um, that they did uh, use this head scan on a basic before. I could be wrong again. Um, like I was with Sheamus. This is the same torso we got with the last Elite Cesaro. And I don't know why, but they gave him smaller arms this time. So I'm not sure what that's about. Um, I think that Cesaro is absolutely jacked. So I don't know why they would give him these smaller arms. However, I am loving that they gave us the kinetic tape. It's actually funny because in the wrestling figure forums, I commented under Mattel's one time and I said, we need a Cesaro figure with kinetic tape. And I'm not saying I had anything to do with it. Yes, I am. But um, they actually did listen to somebody out there and they gave us kinetic tape. And I am loving this. I think that's really dope. Um, this could obviously work with a flashback Cena. This could work for a lot of other guys. So this is really cool. Again, I would have liked the bigger arms. Um, I just feel like these are way too skinny, especially when you compare them up to Sheamus. But getting into the trunks, I am loving the trunks. The blue, the blue, what are you, freaking retarded, son? That's black, come on. Okay, so you have black, gold, and white looking fantastic. This was my high school colors. And here's the back of the trunks looking very nice as well. I love the Cesaro decal we're getting right there, looking very clean. I would have liked the logo here, but I believe this is accurate to WrestleMania, so I'm not going to complain too much. Um, going down into the knees, we do have the larger knee pads, which is okay because Cesaro does wear those. And here's my biggest gripe. I don't like this at all. Um, even if it is accurate to WrestleMania, I'm just not a fan of this design. I like Cesaro in taller boots, and I think what I'm going to do is a lower leg swap and show you guys in a future video. I'm not a fan of these little shin things either, so I think I'm going to replace all of this, replace the lower legs, and give him some fix-up boots or something. But now that we've covered Cesaro, let's take a look at some comparisons. So here we have the new Elite 58 up next to the Elite 47, and I gotta say, I think I'm mistaken. I think that the skinnier arms actually look better proportionately. Like, if you look at this Cesaro, it's like, I don't know, with the short shoes and the large arms and the big head and the weird looking weight, I don't know, it looks like, am I wrong or is this disproportionate? I'm liking the way this looks now, um, now that I've compared them. Um, but I want to get another comparison here. We have uh, these two and I have some other Cesaros. So here we have a look at every single Cesaro in my collection, and which one do you think works well? I absolutely love this fix-up that I made um, a while back. I just think it works perfect for Cesaro. I love the torso, the arm size, everything just flows perfectly, the long boots. Um, let me know down in the comment section below, guys, which ones you guys like. Maybe I can mix up some parts between all of them and make the ultimate Cesaro, you know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I am loving the new Elite 58. I think it looks fantastic. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comment section below, guys, which ones do you like. This is sort of just some fodder. I threw, I threw some Cody boots on there to see what it looked like. kind of like it. It ties all together with the white and red and in here love that look but yeah definitely let me know and here we have the new cesaro up next to the official trash corbin but yeah guys that about does it for this complete figure review of the brand new elite 58 bar figure sheamus and cesaro these things are absolutely fantastic they are the current day raw tag team champions so if you're a fan of the bar if you're a fan of sheamus or cesaro individually you gotta grab these guys they're great for your current day roster they're great for pick feds they're great for just any wwe figure collector these are great representations of these guys in real life and don't forget guys they don't just set the bar they are the bar and they have ran through every team on Monday Night Raw right now and they are just on a tear. Cannot wait to see how they fare against Braun Strowman at WrestleMania 34 or what comes of that situation. But that's going to do it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to pick these figures up, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use that promo code MDTOYS. Save yourself 10%. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.